Hi everyone. This is a video to show you how to do ro rotational inertia loads in Onshape and SimSolid. Okay, I have this windmill model, the vertical windmill, and I have, you can see that it's about 30 parts, but it has a bunch of bolts and things like that. And I'm in Onshape. If I want to do an analysis, I of course just do my plus sign, add application SimSolid Cloud, it'll give me this tab here. I pick the tab, I load a project, and I pick the assembly studio with all the bolts, bring it into SimSolid. Okay, material properties are all defined. Let's create connections. And now let's do a quick analysis. So first I'll do linear static analysis. I'll constrain the base. And now I have to apply my inertia load. And some solid inertia loads can be either translational, rotational, or we can also apply inertia relief. So let's do a rotational inertia load. Now I can apply the loads to either all parts in the assembly or to select a set of a select, just a selected subset of parts. Let's just do all parts. Now I have to specify my axis of rotation and I can just drag this little triad around or rotate the ball to define an axis. But even easier, if I just zoom up to some cylindrical surface like this and pick on it, it'll, it'll orient the axis right at the center of that, uh, of that, uh, that cylinder. Okay, so that's my axis of rotation. Now I just have to specify my acceleration parameters. Why don't we do about 100 uh, RPM here? Do that, and we have it specified, and now we're ready to analyze. In some solid, you don't create a mesh, so it's very quick to set up these models and, and run them. Okay, here we go. Here's the results. And you can see here's my displacements. Uh, here's my, I'm sorry, my, my von Mises stresses. Here is my stress animations. I can also look at my displaced animations, uh, etc. cetera, and, uh, and then, and so on. So that's very quick how to do a rotational inertia load with an, uh, in some solid and on shape. Thanks for watching.